Tonight, the coronavirus in the U.S. This sobering headline late today. The U.S. now has the most confirmed cases of coronavirus in the world. The death toll in the U.S. now topping 1,000, this country's deadliest 24 hours yet. Tonight, we take you inside one New York City hospital, a doctor's plea for help. The ER and the ICU overflowing. More than 100 new deaths in New York City overnight. The truck that pulled up to the hospital for the dead. Out front, more patients lined up to get in. And tonight, we've now learned New York State is moving to allow the use of one ventilator for two critically ill patients because of the shortage. And now the other hot spots in this country, in New Jersey tonight, nearly 2,500 new cases. The alarming numbers in Louisiana, a surge in cases there, and tonight we have now learned a 17-year-old has died. The Texas governor now ordering visitors from states, including New York, to quarantine or face criminal consequences. And reports tonight, 37 people who attended a church event in Arkansas are now sick. President Trump speaking just moments ago and the letter the president sent to the nation's governors detailing the possibility of easing some restrictions. And when pressed, Dr. Anthony Fauci saying the virus will determine the timeline here. Tonight, the stories of the victims across this country, that one family in Missouri, five members now sick and new reporting tonight on the mother and father in the hospital. The urgent message from a young pregnant woman in the hospital, 26 weeks pregnant, fighting the virus. The staggering toll on American families tonight, workers across this country suddenly out of a job. Tonight, a record 3.3 million Americans filing for unemployment. When will those checks arrive with help for American families and for how much? We have answers tonight. The developing headline involving the U.S. military and the virus, at least 23 sailors on a U.S. aircraft carrier testing positive. And now everyone on the carrier will be tested. And Dr. Jen Ashton tonight answering your questions. If you catch the virus, how long does it last? Why do some patients who seem to be getting better suddenly take a dramatic turn for the worse? And could the virus come back with another cycle? Jen on that tonight. This is ABC World News Tonight with David Muir. Good evening, and it's great to have you with us here on this Thursday night. And that sobering new headline just before we came on the air tonight, the U.S. now has the most diagnosed cases of coronavirus in the world.